Hello, my name is Lawrence Ian Lofton, and this is one of my spooky tales of the screaming. It's a ghost story I like to call, What Good is a Ghost? <clears throat> <clears throat> now, it may or may not be true, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But, ah. Lydia woke up, like she always did, to the sheets being ripped off the bed with an accompanying woo of utmost terror. She yawned and bent down to plug in her alarm clock, casting an angry look in the general area of the room. Like most ghosts, she couldn't see exactly what it was. She just felt a presence. And this had been going on for quite some time. Uh, things became unplugged, keys got hidden, pencils moved all of their own, and other such occurrences. That start out terrifying, but like most things, repetition significantly lowered the overall horror factor and moved it into the annoyance territory. She wasn't quite sure why this was happening, but she thought perhaps it was her job that was to blame. For you see, Lydia was a gypsy. Well, not really a gypsy. Her, uh, her gypsy name, uh, Lydra, was, but... She was just a normal girl with no real special talents. Um, she first started to notice things about a year ago. Uh, little things that just were like tarot cards moving on them by their own and flipping around to change the fortunes from good to bad. Little things like that. <clears throat> and, you know, one too many knocks on the underside of a table when she was trying to do a seance. Well, as it turned out, it moved from her from her work to her home. And one day, Mr. Ghost, as she liked to call him, followed her home. However, this day, she was in luck. Instead of sticking to his usual routine of simply hiding the keys, Mr. Ghost decided to try something new. And Lydia watched in oh, growing hostility as her car keys floated up and up hovering right out of her reach. A few weak attempts at jumping and a rather earnest one failed as miserably, as she, miserably as if she had tried to use actual psychic powers. Finally, she did the only thing she could think of and released a tirade of obscenities and threats so horrible that Mr. Ghost phased slightly into view a bright red blush creeping about him. Key, keys lowered ever so slowly as if Fear was more of a factor than plain stubbornness. <clears throat> Lydia looked around and sat and said, Look, Mr. Ghost, I'm sorry I yelled, but you're just so unproductive with these little childish tricks. Well, she said it to where she thought Mr. Ghost would be. And then she got an idea, something that might free her from all of her troubles. She said, I've got a deal for you, Mr. Ghost. If you help me make it look like I can levitate things, when I die, I'll promise to become a ghost and keep you company forever, okay? She was hoping, of course, that the ghost was just a lonely person, not just a jerk. And in the confirmation of her deal, one of her pencils mysteriously moved and formed an okay sign on a nearby piece of paper. However, since she wasn't paying attention to that pad of paper, it flew across the room and hit her in her head. <clears throat> Now, it would be kind of boring to tell you exactly what happened. Just know that um, eventually she did get major gigs floating and levitating things, and all went well. Until one day, she decided she'd try to levitate a person. This person was a rather obese woman, and unfortunately, well, to Mr. Ghost's credit, she did levitate about 3.4 inches off the ground. She then fell back. And a sound was heard, almost, uh, people would say, like a ghost throwing out its back. After this, of course, Lydia had to find something else to do. And so she tried and tried, and nothing quite worked, but she had to hold up her end of the bargain. So, and this is the chilling part, when she died, she got a glimpse of Mr. Ghost's face. And it was so hideous that she became immortal. She brought herself back to life just so she would not have to see it. And that is my spooky tale of the screaming.